Hey, my friends at Nova Cork, congratulations on your launch of Dual Universe. And my friends who are interested in Dual Universe or is going to be playing Dual Universe, Dual Universe should be now up and running. So I had timed this video to launch at 6 a.m. Pacific Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or I think the common one I saw was 13 UTC. And basically at those times, or when this video is viewable, uh, basically it's launched. Uh, you should be able to get the game, so you can go directly to the Dual Universe website and get the game, or you can get it on Steam as well. That being said, before we go on, I do re recommend using my referral uh, friend, or recruiter friend, I should say, link in the description slash comments. And the reason for that is you get a lot of awesome rewards and it does help me, but actually you get way more than <laughs> the, the one person getting referred gets way more than the, the, the recruiter. Let me put it that way. You get uh, a whole bunch of neat little things and it's worth it. I just thought I'd mention it because I missed out. I'm kind of annoyed because it carries on. So if I had my recruiter friend stuff, I would actually get a bonus at launch and whatever. But anyways, yeah, now you know. So uh, Dual Universe, yes, it goes live. This is exciting. So after eight years of development, two years of beta, our team has delivered an industrial-leading uh, voxel technology and enabling players to play, build incredible worlds in a single shared, uh, single shard, they said, MMO like no others. So this is the cool thing. The game doesn't actually cost for a box. It does cost a monthly subscription. They're going to have a de uh, demo. So obviously September 27th, 2022 is the launch, which is right now. Uh, and Steam launch, which, yeah, now you can play it. And the cool thing is, so, like, let's say you use my re uh, recruiter friend link, you join up uh, from the website, blah, blah, blah. When you're in there, there is an actual uh, linking where you can link it to your Steam account. So even though you got it on the Dual Universe site, you can link it on Steam. But the cool part about this is you can also buy the currency from Dual Universe directly. They get a bit more money. Don't tell Steam. Or you can go to Steam and buy it, you know, get it directly from them and use that stuff. But obviously, then you can't use it from Dual Universe. So that's why I would recommend using the Recruiter Friend, getting it from Dual Universe directly. So that way you get the, you can buy the time directly from them. Just don't tell Steam. Valve wouldn't like that. Okay, so uh, yeah, the Steam launch is there. They're going to also have a free trial, which is the demo, which is really cool. Basically, it's going to be a mirror of what we have. I don't know if you get like all the planets or it's just like, you know, some of the simple stuff and it gets wiped, you know, periodically. But the idea is you can test out to see if your computer works, get the basic understanding of the game, thing like, things like that. So it's kind of a, a fun, well, let's just try the demo and see how it goes. Highly recommend it, obviously. See if it's your your kind of game. If you like space engineers, you like Empyrean, you like Starbase. If you like Star Made, if you like Avorian, you're gonna probably like Dual Universe. It's got a lot of cool stuff. It's got the whole scripting and you know construct building and making blueprints and selling your ships. So you can sell your whole ship or you can sell the blueprints for it. There's so much you can do in this game, which is a lot of fun. Of course, it's got the PvP mining, going into space, asteroid mining plants, things like that. It's got a lot of that stuff as well. But for me, I just love the whole you know idea of just exploring and checking out people's constructs. And I think you can join like five organizations. I don't think that was in beta or not originally was it i don't remember it's been a while but uh, i'm looking forward to it uh so the great reset basically it's a wipe so consider a hundred percent wipe except your blueprints uh your organization friends list recruit refer a friend and to uh factor authentication which that's another thing i would recommend if you make an account on the dual universe for example, if you use the recruiter friend I linked, um, if you use the two-factor uh, authentication, you also get another bonus reward, which is interesting because I don't know if Steam players actually get that because if they make their account directly on Steam, I don't know if they can even access the Dual Universe website, which means they might not even get the, uh, the two-factor authenticator. That's kind of interesting. Don't tell on me. <laughs> uh, you got the Pioneer Pack rewards. So um, unfortunately, if you're watching this video this second, I think it's too late. You can't get this anymore. Um, but basically what happens is if you put a certain amount of time into the game. So if you put one to three months of subscription originally in the beta time or even like like when I'm making this video, even if I do it now, as far as I know, you get this. If you had put four to 12 months before um, and you were iron bronze, silver backers, uh, 
you would have gotten the or oh, so it's four to twelve months subscription or iron bronze and silver backers. I think it should say or in there, uh, and or uh, you would get the rare one. And if you're thirteen months of subscription or a gold backer, and uh, so I'm a gold backer by the way, and above you get the exotic one. And basically, what these do is just give you some extra talent points quanta and some fun items to just help you out so if you want to pause your screen there you can take a look at this so here's the advanced one the rare so the exotic so this package is available to players who have purchased at least 13 months of subscription from the dual universe uh, beta please note that it's not necessary to have used the game time by this date to qualify for this bracket this package is also available to our gold backers and above from our crowdfunding campaigns so I actually was a gold backer, and so I got this, which is kind of cool. It's a nice little thank you. So you get up to 52 million extra talent points, including server-wide acceleration event and beta talent points awards by the end of six-month launch. Uh, six monthly payments of 400,000 quanta. So six monthly payments. Oh, that's cool. Five schematic copies of the uh, Dynamic Core Unit S, five schematic copies of the Dynamic Core Unit M, five schematic copies of the Dynamic Core L, Tier 3 Rare Item and uh, Collectible Statue, three exclusive decorative items, uh, Potted Plant, a Carpet, and a Potted Plant Black. <laughs> Yay. I, mean, I know they're just fun, right? I don't mind that, but just like, yeah, okay. Uh, and then Kickstarter digital rewards coming at launch. So this is all your DAC balance. So I think for mine, I got the digital version of gold. So I think it was like 23 DAC or something. Uh, titles in game, Sanctuary Territory Unit, the Ark Ship uh, Cryogenic Tube, uh, the skin for the Resurrection Node, furniture sets, and fireworks. We'll also include your name in the game credits. Now I'm kind of interested because I changed my name on my account to Stone Legion yt so youtube um so there it is right there i don't think it's show, showing anything bad yet so i'm not actually sure if my credits will say that now or my original name i don't mind either way i just kind of curious now because i changed it just now you know what i mean so maybe every time they do an update they automatically generate and like modify that list i don't know uh, so, uh, the launch of the game will welcome some new additions to the game. A major one is upgrading planets. Uh, great chance for bringing the game, uh, world to life to more breathable, more identity into them. So basically they redid the planets. There's going to be, I believe five planets. There's, uh, yeah. All of sanctuary, heaven, moon, one, moon, four, Jago, blah, 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 Mattis, moon, one, two, three, and Thades and Moon 1, 2. So, like, the thing is, these moons have, I think, like, 300 plots on them. And they, they act like a planet. So, even though there's, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I see. But they don't count those as it. Is that what it is? So, okay. I think Sanctuary, they don't count. So, maybe 5, uh, five 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, yeah, so you can consider it five or six planets if you don't count the two of them, right? The Alioth and uh, Sanctuary. But with all the moons, it actually is a lot. And they're going to add more. So this is cool. This is a little chart on it. Uh, so basically, planet deployment here. I know it's kind of small, but just see everything blue here. This is launch. So they don't look at the moons. They don't count the moons. So just think about this. Launch, phase two, probably going to come out sometime next year. I, I would assume so because we're already, you know... Is near the end of this year, but uh, probably spring next year. Let's just say that. Maybe I, maybe it'll be sooner. So in phase two, they're going to add three more planets. And these planets, you know, they can change, obviously, over time. They, they were thinking they might bring them closer because they can take a couple hours to fly to them. So I think their idea is, you know, they might bring them closer. But anyway, so you got three more planets. Who knows how many moons? And then phase three, you got two more planets. Once again, who knows how many moons? And phase four, you got two more planets again. And once again, who knows how many moons? So, um, and the game will have several phases they're also claiming. So, um, yeah. So keep in mind that this is just an example of the planet deployment. And anything can change. Anything can happen, obviously. Uh, back to the game. Try the game for free again. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. 
Um, literally, I will start a Let's Play series, so I hope you consider subscribing, commenting, all that fun stuff. And I'm hoping you guys will enjoy Dual Universe, and I hope you are going to play because I think you'll like it. I think I think you guys who like my space content, I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. I think it's worth trying. Um, even like, I mean, this is worst case scenario. Let's just say this game fails. I think it's a game that you would regret never trying in your life. It, it, you know, if you don't try it, it's an amazing sandbox. And I think it's a lot of work and technology that put into this. And I think you'd miss out if you don't, you know, actually play it. And I don't say that often, you know, I, uh, you know, I try to be positive as possible, but I'm just trying to say like worst case scenario, I think you would miss out giving this game a shot. So at least try it out for a month or two and see if you like it either way congratulations and once again uh another cork on your launch and i hope to see all you friends and uh friends and family i guess i could say uh in dual universe in the future or right now maybe you're actually in the game <laughs> and uh, have a great launch day and yeah stay tuned for more episodes of dual universe